to Vancouver we go. We'll see you guys in the West Coast. Made it to Vancouver. Kind of got a headache right now, but uh, we got a 15 hour, 25 minute flight ahead of us. Here we go, see you guys in Sydney. We're in Sydney. randomly stumbled upon the Rocks Market here, where we got some food and we're right under the Sydney Harbour Bridge. security and customs we had to ever go through yes. but Gandalf <laughs> allowed us to come through we are in Queenstown New Zealand focusing on driving on the left hand side here but man those views out there freaking amazing Good morning guys so we just got up having some breakfast enjoying the views and we're headed over to Glenorchy we're going to be doing some horseback riding today, Lord of the Rings style. This is the most ridiculous ride. All the way out to Glenarchy, all these smokes. Ridiculous! I say hello to my horse, Merlin! Just finished our horseback riding tour and I realized that I dropped my phone somewhere. I was taking photos along the way. I guess it popped out. Um, so we're on the ground. We'll finally have it obviously because I'm using my phone right now. Oh, thank goodness. that we only have one tick of gas left. We had left Milford Sound already, turned back around now to head back into Milford Sound to fill up gas, fail. All right, so this is pretty epic, epic fail. Because it's raining right now, it's really cloudy outside. The self-service machine for fuel uses satellite. There's no satellite signal, no fuel. We can't actually use the pump. Quick update on the situation. I just called the 0800 number and they might send somebody down, but who knows when that'll be. But they pretty much reiterated the same thing. It's gonna be a satellite uh, connection before we can fuel up. Um, otherwise, there's another place. The hilarious thing is that the point that we came from was close to where there's apparently a stop that sells emergency fuel for cash. Uh, we didn't know, we drove all the way back to Milford Sound, but uh, we might be here overnight. What an adventure. Who would have thought coming out to Milford Sound would result in this? We finally got our fuel from the friendly fireman who had extra emergency fuel. We're topped up to 10 liters, which is enough to take us to tan out. So we just did the Good Samaritan thing yes. and we dropped off a package with, with instructions for where to get fuel with the firemen. So we're off. We're gonna hopefully we make it to Queenstown. We have fuel, 10 liters get to tan out and then onwards to Queenstown. 
So if you haven't figured out yet, hot tip, make sure you have a full tank of gas before coming to Milford Sound. Good morning, guys. We are at Shot Over River right now, and behind me is Shot Over Jet, the most exciting boat ride in New Zealand. Take a look. times already. <laughs> the flying kiwi bus. So we are in the blue pools along the Haas Pass. Oof, it's a rainy day, but we're gonna make do. It is thundering. We're at Ship Creek and it is raining cats and dogs. Visib visibility is really low, but that's a Tasman Sea right there. No dolphins, unfortunately. So we're at Fox Glacier right now. It's somewhere back there. It's still raining, unfortunately. So we tried this 740 hella hike, no luck. And we're gonna try the 840. We'll see how it goes. We might be raining out for the day, but uh, we'll make the best of it. I'm such an idiot. Didn't bring waterproof pants. I think I'm gonna have to buy a new one out here. It's been so rainy. It's a no-go. left camp and it's about six o'clock this morning and we're on the Ocarito Trig walk to see if we can catch any kiwi and to get up to the top so that maybe we can catch that beautiful view of the Black Beach down below. We made it to the top. Check out the view from here. All the mountains finally appearing. because you're not allowed to take any photos. This guy was super cute and a lot bigger than I thought. Almost like a, a basketball sized bird. Hilarious, so much fun. Welcome to Camp Punakaki. There she blows. to tell you guys at first because I'd probably psych myself out but yes we are doing this Abel Tasman skydive I figured if there's one place to skydive in the world it would be here in New Zealand and doing it with my trusty partner Chantel are you ready no not ready I'm not ready either <laughs> Her 
survived. I can't believe it. 13,000 feet. Oh man, awesome as is pretty much what two words describe the entire experience. The views, the drop, the free fall, the parachute, a definitely must do in New Zealand. Ain't nobody gonna skydive without getting video and photo evidence. Sailing in our kayaks right now. Oh, wow. The wind is perfect. We're headed back to shore. Viking Abel Tasman National Park. And this is Yellow Point Lookout. That about wraps for the Abel Tasman Coastal Walkway. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. We did a good five or six hours here today, but man, it's been gorgeous here. It's our final day. We're barbecuing it up and then heading up. It's another rainy day, it looks like. We're headed on the bus, head over to Nelson, and then Picton, and then Wellington. Picton right now and behind me is the Inter Islander. This is the ferry that's going to take us over to Wellington. We got a bit over an hour that we're going to be chilling here in the city before heading to the capital of New Zealand. Not only do they load trucks on and buses, but also trains. This must be a massive ferry. From Wellington it's a little bit windy as you can see but we've made it to Weta. This is the Weta cave and we're gonna be checking out uh, the shop and we're gonna be doing a tour of their workshop as well. Let's do this! Oh, this is the display case that I've been wanting at home. We've got the last two spots in the workshop tour. We're headed in, no photos. Uh, but this is gonna be pretty amazing. We're inside the final room for the Weta Workshop tour and we can finally take photos. So this is what it looks like inside. Let's take a look at all the memorabilia. We got blood work, making workshop, molding work. made it to Watomo and it's the legendary black water rafting. Let's do this. With the legendary black water rafting and we're ready to go. We're all suited up. Let's do this. to Auckland and we're about to check into the Juicy Snooze. We're here for the night. A lot of people are departing us from Flying Kiwi, so it'd be nice to kind of have dinner and have some beers tonight. Um, but yeah, we're checking in.
just came back from our two dives. We dived a wreck called the Rainbow Warrior Greenpeace Boat and a reef dive as well. It was shivering cold, but back to be back on land. Man, that was a lot of fun though. <laughs> oh, man, that is on tight. Just short of the mark. <laughs> so we've just picked up our rental car and we have this deck here, Panasonic. It's only in Japanese. No idea how to change this into English. How do we use this? After roughly 14 days of camping, we're in Coromandel, or close to Witianga, actually, and we decide to upgrade ourselves with a B&B. This is called Arthur's B&B. My goodness, this is amazing. Friday guys, we're at Hahe Beach right now, about to head up to Cathedral Cove. I had to go back to the car to pick up the tripod, all important of course. And uh, man, it's a beautiful day, probably the best day yet. From mountains to rainforest to beaches like this, man, New Zealand is just incredible. Today is literally the first day we've ever sweat on this trip. It is that hot today. Theater near you. This is how you get warm water, right? <laughs> Seriously, guys, I thought we were past this in New Zealand. Good morning. It's just, you know, 5 10 in the morning right now. We just grabbed a little bit of breakfast at the hostel. Chantel's having the last bite of her croissant, but we're waiting for Tongariro Expeditions to pick us up because we're gonna be hiking Mount Doom. To the start of the Tongariro crossing. It's about 6.55 this morning. Thanks to Tongariro Expeditions, we're able to start right here, bright and early. It's at the road. We're about 30 minutes in right now. The sun is beating. We started off with our winter gear, actually, uh, but the zips are slowly coming down. Uh, Took is off, regular hat is on. So far it's been flat, which has been good. I think Chantel likes this. Second lunch, and down here is the red crater. 
pretty spectacular. And then we're making our final ascent up to the peak. Well, we just started from up there and it was pure slip and slide coming down. I'd say coming down is actually a lot harder than on the way up. So this part you gotta be a bit careful of, but man, the views, bam, bam. Well guys, I think we're in our seventh hour almost now. And it's pretty much all downhill from here. We can see some farms all the way down there and a few other people that we passed along the way throughout the day, so. So we're a bit about eight and a half hours in. We gotta try to catch the eight o'clock bus with Tonga. Hero Expeditions, four o'clock. The sign just said 45 minutes left. I don't know if we'll catch it, but we're making a great pace. Wow, that was kind of tight. <laughs> we literally- o'clock, look at my face, oh my gosh. I'm like red, sweaty. Oh, uh, we hustled oh, real hard. Pretty much sprinted the whole way yes. back uh, after the hut, my gosh. how quickly the weather changes in New Zealand. Dark clouds all around. I think we're pretty lucky that we did the Tongariro crossing yesterday. Now we couldn't come to the North Island without doing one of the geothermal parks. So here in Taupo, this is Craters of the Moon. Hobbiton movie set. Hobbiton coming right up. And we're here in Hobbiton. is our first hobbit hole. Dragon, where we're gonna get one free drink. Come on, let's go. How far away is the green dragon? Say this one last time, sweet as. 